Hello YouTube, Minecraft friends, CubeHamster here with a new video. It's been like one and a half week since I started posting videos. And every subscriber that joined uh, gave me joy. Seriously, it just uh, made me really happy. And then all of a sudden yesterday, I, I checked my email and I, it was like a, a burst of subscribers. And I was like, huh? What the hell's going on? I didn't didn't post any new videos. Um, I didn't make any comments. Or I didn't yeah I didn't do anything special. And then I got a PM from uh, uh, from someone saying that I got featured on Duckham 77's uh, YouTube channel. So I checked it out and I was like, whoa! And it, yeah, I I've seen his videos before and he's a, he's an awesome guy. He's got awesome stuff going on. And just this, but but being featured on his channel is is amazing. And all of a sudden, yeah, he he gave a shout out. And yesterday, I think I had like 50 subscribers, and now I'm reaching like the 150 mark. And <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's uh, yeah, I've been uh, so happy with each and single one uh, of you guys uh, subscribing to me. And then to have this happen is just uh, amazing. So, uh, thank you, Dogum77. Uh, <laughs> it's it's awesome. You're an awesome, dude. <laughs> Anyways, um, what I want to do uh, today with you guys is uh, I want to talk about the Holy of Holy, which is the the redstone repeater. Uh, most of you guys already know uh, some of its functions and uh, some of the properties, but I want to basically run through all all of the yeah all of the maybe less known facts and maybe some of the stuff you guys do know but uh, I'm just gonna run through them and I don't know you might learn something you might not learn something but uh, I'm just gonna show you guys anyway okay let's go okay fact one um, as you guys you guys might have noticed when you're working with redstone is that uh, redstone torches don't respond immediately it's there's sort of a small delay same as with the repeater and you can obviously change the delay on the repeater. It, it starts when you build it or you drop it. It, uh, it starts at a, a one tick delay. And you can basically change it to whatever you want. Which is incredibly useful uh, for timings. But it's sort of the, the timing sort of corresponds with the, the delay on the redstone torch. So here I have uh, two in inverters. Which obviously... Uh, double inversion just gives a normal signal and here I have two one tick delay repeaters and one two tick delay repeater and what it should do when I pull this lever it should activate them all at the same time if I were to um, set the delay on this to one it should actually respond a bit faster than the other ones so whenever you're doing doing complex circuits and you're you're also using torches next to the repeaters, you also have to take into account that actually the torch itself also adds a one tick delay to your uh, to your circuit. Anyways, that's fact one. Let's continue. Okay, next up, firing uh, a signal into a block using a redstone repeater. If you have an active redstone repeater and you face it towards a block, it actually powers the block. And that power in the block can then be used to activate redstone dust that's on top of the block, redstone dust that's to the right and the left of the block, and redstone dust that's below the block. Now this can obviously obviously be uh, used to uh, distribute, distribute the, the signal. Um, but also in compact circuits where um, yeah, you don't always have room to take a corner and you don't want signals to mi mix up. Uh, you can use this as a way to basically get the signal from here to over there without uh, interference, which is incredibly useful. Uh, it's also what I used in uh, m some of my extender circuits. But uh, yeah, so much for fact number two. Let's continue. Okay, moving on. The way uh, repeaters can get powered, obviously just entering redstone into repeater powers it, but you can also use redstone to power a block, which then powers a redstone repeater. 
What you could also do is you could ha uh, have redstone above the block which is next to the repeater which then also powers it. You could use a repeater to, plow, uh, to power a block uh, to then power a repeater. You could use a redstone torch to power a block above which then powers a redstone repeater. Or you could use a redstone repeater to power a block with redstone on top which then powers a redstone repeater. So these are some ways. Um, yeah, I might have missed one or two, I don't know. But uh, yeah, extremely useful uh, to uh, yeah to not, not mix up signals or to deliberately mix up signals. But um, yeah, let's continue. Something very simple and useful about repeaters is that they only work in one direction. So for instance, I've got this completely pointless silly circuit, but that's beyond the point. But the moment I switch this uh, lever, it will activate both pistons. Now, when I switch this lever, it will obviously uh, do the same. Now, it could be that I want it to only activate the left one when I do this lever, and to only, uh, or, to, or to do both when I click this lever. Now, seeing the way repeaters work, what I could do is I could add a repeater there, which then won't allow a signal to travel that way, while at the same time will allow a signal to travel the other way. Now obviously, uh, yeah, I always want to time my circuits correctly, so this one then powers both, and this one only powers the left one. Incredibly useful, and always make use of it whenever you can. Repeaters are also very, very useful to um, to not get signals mixed up. You guys probably already knew, know that when you have redstone with uh, a repeater next to it, that they don't interfere. But you can take that a step further, say if you want to cross two signals. Now if I were to have redstone here, this, this would power both of them. But uh, as soon as I put a repeater here, it doesn't. So now these two signals, they don't mix up. Now you can take that one step further. If you have a lot of uh, signal lines and you want to cross them somehow, you can also um, use a repeater to power a block, which then powers another repeater. And so now that should power that, no problem. That should only power that, no problem. And there we go. So. We separated all the signals and there's no uh, cross connections going on. Incredibly useful uh, to get one signal from point A to point B if it's a complete mess and you don't want stuff to interfere with each other. Okay, moving on. Okay, moving on. The, um, I want to talk about the use of delays. For instance here I've got three repeaters that are next to each other. And as you can see, the signal goes to this piston first, because there's only a one tick delay. And it goes to this piston second, because there's only a three tick delay. And finally, it goes to this piston, because there's only a five tick delay. So each, each one, two extra delay. So when I flip the switch, it goes dunk, dunk, dunk. Okay. Um, but you might, um, you might not want them to, or sorry, you might want them to extend in this order, but you could also want them to retract in the opposite order. Now, how could you do that? Um, this uh, piston now has a five tick delay because it takes five seconds for for it uh, for the signal to be completely drained from the repeaters. And if I go to this uh, second piston, I now add it. Uh, a four and a two tick delay, which is a six, six tick delay, which powers this block, uh, which we talked uh, about before, and then powers this uh, redstone, and then goes to another one tick. So I went from five to seven, which is at the end plus two. And then moving on to the, the first piston, which is the last, going to be the, one, the last one that's going to retract, uh, I've got one, four, and four, which is nine, which is another uh, two extra delay hooked it up to this block, which then powers this redstone, which goes to the, the piston. So now, the moment I pull this back, it takes a bit of time, but they go in reverse order. So, from left to right, right to left. 
very useful. Delays are very, very useful. Okay, let's continue. Okay, moving on to the next part. If you have two lines going towards something you're powering, and the line on one of them uh, is uh, has a short delay, while the other one has a bit longer delay, what you can use this for is actually the moment you flip, for instance, this lever, it will sort of activate quite fast, while the moment I turn off the lever, it will take some time because there's more delay on this circuit. Now, if you then hook that up to, for instance, this clock, what it actually does is it's sort of, it's an alternating clock, which means that the, the time on, yeah, basically the signal, it's, it's always turned on, turned on four ticks and turned off uh, four ticks. But as you can see, it's actually extended more than it's retracted. That's because the, given the, the delays, it's sort of being powered, and then it's the moment this this uh, line turns off, this line actually is still on. So, seeing as it is now, just for laughs, if I add another tick, you'll see it's fully extended all the time. <coughs> now, that's because the the delay in uh, in this circuit is now. Uh, or the difference between these two lines is now actually the same time as the alternating clock. So, as you can see, the, the redstone repeater is always powered. Now, let me just fix that again. But yeah, so you can use uh, two delay lines to alternate if you want something to be activated longer or shorter. Um, yeah, sort of depending on how you set it up. Um, obviously, if you invert this signal, um, you can also uh, have it the other way around, so that it, it retracts more often, or it retracts longer than it is uh, uh, extended. But yeah, it's a noisy clock, by the way. Very useful, though. Might get into that as well at some point. In one of the previous facts, I already mentioned that you could change the delay on the redstone repeater. So you got one tick, two tick, three tick, four tick, etc. But um, it's actually uh, sort of useful because if you, for instance, put a lever and hook it up to an inverter and add a little uh, delay and then hook that up to a NOR gate, well, at the other side, the signal just enters the NOR gate really fast. What you can do effectively is you can change the effect of the lever and sort of the moment it, it gets uh, turned on, uh, I mean turned off, <coughs> it sort of acts like a, it, it gives a pulse. So now whenever I turn the lever off, it gives a pulse. This is also what I used in my retractor circuit. So whenever um, I wanted to pull back the, the pistons in the triple sticky piston extender circuit, what would happen is, as soon as I, I uh, deactivated the lever, somewhere in the circuit, there was sort of a setup like this. And what that did is, it actually created a pulse. And the pulse I sent through the circuit in a certain way to, um, yeah, basically retract um, retract the pistons. Now, if you want the this circuit to give a pulse whenever, uh, the, the, the signal goes on, all you have to do is you have to change the timing so that actually this uh, signal arrives first. And let me just completely remove this one actually. And now, whenever I turn on the, le the, the lever, it will give a pulse. And as you can see, I now have sort of a three tick delay going on between these two. But what's interesting is if you add a two tick delay between those two, what you can do is, with the sticky piston extender, it actually retracts too fast. And what happens then is, it leaves the block mid-air. And then if you activate it again, you give another pulse, it retracts it again. Which is obviously useful for certain conditions. But uh, yeah, so much for that. Let's continue. 
Okay, now expanding on my previous fact, um, if you have the pulse and you have a bunch of repeaters, what you could do obviously is make two, uh, two lines for the wiring, one with a very short delay and one with a very long delay. And what happens then is that one pulse arrives faster than the other one, giving the effect of extending, retracting, and then the other signal arrives and then it extends and retracts again. Um, and using these different kind of delays is sort of what I did uh, in the extender circuits. Because obviously um, some pistons had to retract twice and then I just add a second longer delay. Which then used the short pulse to retract and, I mean, ext <laughs> extend and retract. Anyways, so much for that. Let's move on. Next up, I want to talk about repeaters powering pistons. If you have a, a repeater which is right adjacent to a piston, it will obviously get powered. But not only that uh, piston will get powered, but actually the one below it as well. Now, there are many conditions on which this is very, uh, very useful. But on other cases, it, it, this might be uh, really annoying. Note that it doesn't power these pistons above or the block right above the repeater, nothing happens. Now, like I said, you might not want both pistons on top of each other to go at the same time. Now, how you can fix that is uh, put a repeater and then power a block. And that block then basically powers all the pistons that are attached to the block. So now I only, I'm only powering the middle piston. Not the one above, not the one below. The one right below a block it gets powered as well though, that's something important that you note. And the one above the block also gets uh, powered. But these are like two conditions, uh, yeah, or two ways you could use to either power multiple pistons or make sure that you only power one piston. Now what you can also do is uh, obviously uh, use a, a vertical piston. And if it's one block lower it gets powered, no problem. Uh, even without the block, it gets powered. And if it's right next to it, obviously it works as well. Anyways, so much for powering pistons with repeaters. I think that uh, covers most of it. So much for the repeater. <laughs> Incredibly useful. Uh, I hope you guys uh, find this video useful. Hope you learned something. And I uh, just want to give a shout out to all the new subscribers. You guys are awesome. I'm really loving your support. And uh, please um, tell your friends about this channel. I guess my next goal would be to get uh, 300 subscribers. And uh, yeah, we'll see from then, uh, then what happens uh, to this channel. Anyways, I'm going to continue uh, uploading new videos. I'm uh, almost done with another big uh, project that I want to show you guys. And also, I had some questions about, uh, yeah, in my private messages about uh, uh, the elevator. So if you go check out the description in that video, I added uh, the world file. So you can just, uh, yeah, basically um, download and take a look for yourself if you have any problems. Anyways, awesome. See you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>